Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Apple TV from 4.4.4 to iOS 5.1. Um, it's going to be a tethered jailbreak, but uh, I don't turn my Apple TV off that much anyways, so I don't mind that. So the first thing I want to do is back up my current XBMC folder because I don't want to lose all my settings and stuff. So I'm going to go to settings, general, about... You want to remember that IP address down in the corner there, 192.168.1.103. And come over to the computer, go to <clears throat> the WinSCP folder, which is it's blue and green arrows there. You can't really see it, but whatever. We'll open up here. You want to go new, put in that IP address. Password's root, or username is root, sorry. Password's alpine. Just click update. <clears throat> then on the right side, you're going to have your Apple TV. So you want to go up one folder to mobile, library, preferences. So the top there, private, var, mobile, library, preferences. Drag this XBMC folder to wherever you want on your right hand side. So I'll just uh, just drag it to my just drag it to my desktop, I guess, for now. All right, so that may take a couple minutes, and uh, when that's done, you can get started on the next step. All right, so now that I've backed up my XBMC folder, and I've also backed up my blobs for four point four point four. You can check out the video, it's going to be a separate video, but you can see the link at the bottom. Um, now that I've backed them up, as you can see I have that XBMC folder over here, you can exit WinSCP. Then go to, you don't need to download the new season pass um, off the Firecore website. You can get it in a zip file, you can't see that, but there's a zip file there. Extract it, I just extracted it to my desktop. It's called Season Pass, and it looks like that. If I can get to focus, whatever. I'll open it up. <clears throat> it should open up here. There it is. So now you're going to click <clears throat> Create IPSW there. You have to wait a little while for this to finish. And we'll be back when it does. Alright, so eventually, when it's all done, you'll get this menu. It's going to ask you to plug in your Apple TV and hold the menu and pause button for 7 seconds. So I'm going to do that right now. You need the micro USB cable. Plug it into the back there, underneath the HDMI input. <clears throat> now, my Apple TV isn't flashing right now, which means I need to do the same thing that I did before where I plugged in the power cord. So I need to go and get the power cord. Come over here. Plug it in. Plug it into the back of my Apple TV for a second. You'll see it start flashing at the front. I'm gonna unplug it now. And it should continue to flash. I'm gonna Push and hold the menu and pause button on my remote for seven seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let go on the screen. It's going to say found device in DFU mode. And this is going to eventually probably ask me if I want iTunes to restore. Opening up iTunes, as you can see, it's going to automatically select the file. Boom. Start restoring. Alright, and when that's done, we'll be right back. Alright, so when it's all done, you'll get this menu item. 
so just click OK. If you don't get this, like if you get some error, uh, just start from the beginning. Make sure you follow all the steps, and uh, it should work. So I'm going to click OK now. Exit iTunes. Now I need to boot Tethered because this is a Tethered jailbreak. So. Alright, so now I'm going to click Boot Tethered. It's going to ask me to plug in my Apple TV power and USB cord. So I'm going to go ahead and plug the USB cord in underneath where the HDMI cord. Don't bother, don't plug in the HDMI cord yet. Plug in the power cord. It says waiting for device center DFU mode. So use my remote. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let go. It's gonna say found device. Season pass will do its thing over here. Now it says you can disconnect USB and connect HDMI, so I'm going to do that. Disconnect the USB cord. Plugging in the HDMI cord. There we go at the back there. I'm going to turn on my TV. And there we go, so now we get the menu. I also need to plug in my internet cord. So, I don't want to bother setting up my Wi-Fi right now. So it's asking me for Wi-Fi network. It's going to pass that. I'm going to go, no thanks. We should have the new Apple TV interface. So as you can see, we've got the new Apple TV interface. The Firecore symbol over here, which says it's jailbroken. So now, what we're going to do is install <coughs> XPMC on it.